All athletes train to bet get better. But how exactly does it work? What is actually going on inside our bodies as a result of training to make us perform better? The answer is adaptation. Adaptation in a sporting context can be defined as changes that occur in the body to make you better suited to demands of exercise. Basically, your body gets more efficient and as a result, you get better at your sport or faster in the case of running. When you train, you stress your body and your body responds to this stress by adapting to make you fitter, faster, stronger, so that over time, your performance improves. Surprisingly, adaptation does not happen during the training session. It happens after when you're resting or recovering. That is why it's so important to recover after session and recovery should be just as important as the training session itself. You can enhance the recovery process by fueling correctly after a session. See our web pages for more details on this. And the fact we adapt while resting is the key reason why getting enough sleep and taking a rest day are so important as this is when all the goodness from your training comes to fruition, which is why your parents or your coaches are always banging on about getting enough sleep. If you think about it, it makes sense. If you ran a 5K, immediately after you run it, you'd be tired. And if you tried to do it again, it's likely you'd be far slower. If you rest afterwards, then come back and try a few days later, it is likely you'd be able to run it faster this is evidence of adaptation. Immediately after training, your performance levels decrease below baseline. But then after rest and recovery, adaptation takes place and you recover back to above your previous baseline performance level, meaning you have improved. To continuously achieve adaptations from training, training must gradually get harder. This is the principle of overload. You can do this by manipulating the frequency, intensity or volume of training so that your body is constantly kept on its toes and forced to adapt. If you constantly train without enough recovery between your sessions, you may suffer maladaptation. This is when your body is not given enough time to adapt after a training session. So instead of performance improving, it actually gets worse and worse as the body is continually impaired by training without having enough time to adapt and improve. This is where it's useful to have a coach who can plan your training carefully to prevent this from happening. Different adaptations will occur with different training types. So typically in athletics, we either train for sprinting, endurance, jumping, throwing or hurdling events all of which comprise different types of training used to target different adaptations. For example, a sprinter may use plyometric training to focus on decreasing their ground contact times, whereas a jumper may use plyometric training to target improving their explosive power for takeoff. Check out our other videos on adaptations following sprint and endurance training for a more in-depth look. Overall, it's important to remember we train to stimulate adaptations to make us better at our event, but adaptations take place in the recovery period following a session, so it is equally important to train hard and recover even better to get the most out of your training.